Hello, Pokemon trainers! Welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield video on iStarly TV. Today I'm going to show you how to grind out battle points in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, in my opinion, this is the easiest and most efficient and, and so far I would say quickest way to get a lot of battle points in the game. Um, there might be faster ways that work for you, but at least for me, this is something that I found to be very successful and it's accessible as soon as you get access to the Battle Tower. So first of all, in order to unlock the Battle Tower in Pokemon Sword and Shield, you do need to have become the champion. And then right after that, you have to go back into the Slumbering Wield. And there's another little mini kind of story mission that you have to complete. It takes maybe an hour, maybe more, give or take, to complete this mission. And at the end of that, that's when you catch the box legendary uh, Zacian or Zamazenta. So after you've completed that little mini story mission, you will have access to the Battle Tower. Now the Battle Tower is a location that you can fly to um, pretty much as soon as you beat the game. So it's in the Winden City area and it's uh, at the very top here. So the Battle Tower, you've, you can fly there. And once you have access to it, you can actually do the battles, <laughs> obviously. So um, one of the most helpful characters in this game is actually this man right here. He has a green shirt, uh, a green jacket, I guess. <laughs> you talk to him and he actually has uh, six, no, I'm sorry, five possible rental teams that you can try out for yourself. You can use these teams in the battle tower and you can also use them for online battles. Um, so I, I advise you to try all these out and see which which of these work for you because one of these teams might, might be more compatible with your playstyle and might help you get battle points easier. But the team that I've found the most success with and actually so far have not lost with it yet in the battle tower is this rain team here. So you're going to choose that team and that is how you're going to uh, rent it. But you can rent up to five of these teams. You can rent all five of these if you want. But so far, all I need is the rain team, because I think the rain team is the one that's going to allow you to kind of clean through this battle tower pretty easily. And it saves you a lot of time from actually raising Pokemon yourself. You can definitely raise Pokemon yourself and get even more powerful Pokemon to use. But because the, the game allows you to use this team for free without taking any time to raise your Pokemon... Again, I do think this is a very fast method. So I'm actually already uh, pretty high in the in the tier rankings. I have 38 victories. I've been playing um, the Battle Tower while I work out. I know that sounds weird, but like sometimes I'll play it while I'm running on the treadmill and I just hold both of my Joy-Cons in my hand while I'm running. And it's, it's easy to just kind of battle because it's kind of mindless. All you need to do is like click buttons. So I've been doing that to kill some time. Um, and get through the battle tower. So you're going to choose single battle. You can choose double if you want. And in fact, the game recommends this team for double battles, but I've been using it for single battles. You can use it for either one. And I find, I've found that it works really well. So you're going to choose the rain team. Um, when you start choosing your team, I think it'll start by showing like your actual party and, and your Pokemon. Um, you'll have to go all the way to the end here to find the rental teams. So choose the rain team. And these are the three Pokemon that I've found the most success with. Now you can try out all of these just to see what works for you, but these three Pokemon I feel are very powerful. You're definitely going to want to start with Pelipper because obviously this is a rain team and you need the rain, right? So Pelipper has the drizzle ability which summons rain immediately. So uh, Pelipper is effectively a necessity here. And then there's Barrascuta who is very fast. It has Swift Swim which doubles its speed in rain. And it has a very high attack stat with a life orb item. So it's able to deal a lot of damage with its physical attacks. And then finally, I like using Seismitoad, but I also think Ludicolo is a, a pretty good choice as well. I've had a little bit of success with uh, using Ludicolo in the beginning, but then I switched to using Seismitoad. And I feel like Seismitoad makes it a little easier. This Seismitoad is a special attacker, so it has all special attacks. And it also has the Swift Swim ability which doubles its speed in the rain, just like Barrascuta. So you're just gonna battle here. And basically from this point onward, you just you just battle, obviously. Um, given that your team has a lot of synergy together and you have a, a lot of powerful Pokemon, for example, Barrascuta and, um, and Seismitoad, you are able to deal a lot of damage to the oppo opposing Pokemon. And you're also able to, your Pokemon are, are often faster than theirs because of the Swift Swim ability. So uh, you're just able to kind of sweep through teams somewhat easily. Um, 
Now, usually with Pelipper, I mean, you know, obviously you're going to choose either Scald or Hurricane. If it's a Pokemon that's weak to, to flying, obviously you're going to want to use Hurricane. Um, and if it's a Pokemon that's weak to water, obviously you're going to want to use Scald. Luckily for me, my opponent's using a Grass type, so I can just easily use Hurricane there and, and kill that. So now my opponent's sending out Noivern who resists Scald and, and takes neutral damage from Hurricane. So I'm actually not sure that I'll actually be killing this, but I do just want to stay in. Now, the decisions that you make here are kind of up to you. Usually the way I like to do it is just keep Pelipper in for as long as possible and just try to do as much damage with it as possible. And then when I need to go out to one of my sweepers, I can do that. I'll also switch out Pelipper if there's like nothing Pelipper can do. Like maybe my opponent has a really strong bulky Pokemon that can take hits for days from Pelipper. So maybe I'll want to send out one of my sweepers to get some damage on them. Now the, the, the key with this team, I think, is learning when to Dynamax. So when you Dynamax, obviously your, your moves change to the max moves. Max Geyser is a really powerful water move that actually summons the rain. That's really important to keep keep in mind. So if you, on the regular battle screen, if you press Y to go to info, you can check on your Pokemon and it says rain right there. Three out of five. That means there are three out of five turns remaining for the rain. So it's a good idea to keep in mind what turn you're on from Pelipper's rain. And if you need to Dynamax your Pokemon to summon rain again, that could be a very useful tool. So um, Dynamaxing your Pokemon, it gives you access to these max moves, all of which are really powerful and whose effects you should be aware of. But it also doubles your HP if you Dynamax your Pokemon, which is really useful as well. Um, Seismitoad is not super frail, but sometimes it, it can't really take too many hits. So doubling its HP allows it to take more damage. Similarly with Barrascuta, Barrascuta actually is very frail. So you don't want to take a lot of attacks with it. So if you have to Dynamax with Barrascuta just to boost its HP, that can really help. And of course, Barrascuta is naturally fast, so it can kind of handle its own against other Pokemon. So a couple of other important things. Max Quake lowers the... Um, I'm sorry, it raises your special defense. So if you're up against an opposing special attacker, this can really help a lot to boost your special defense and continue to take hits with your Dynamax Pokemon. Finally, Max Ooze is great on Seismitoad because what it does is it boosts your special attack. And since Seismitoad is a special attacker, um, you get you, you get to keep boosting your stat. So I'm actually going to go for Max Ooze here because it's kind of the only move I can go for. I, I am going to choose to Dynamax there. Honestly, I did not need to Dynamax there because of the fact that Noivern's already weakened. If I would have just gone for Sludge Bomb, I probably could have knocked out the Noivern. But I kind of want to get a sweep going here, and I think that using the Max Ooze will really help that and really facilitate that. So I'm going for Max Ooze. It's going to boost my special attack. Because I'm in rain and I have Swift Swim, I'm, I'm going to be faster than anything my opponent has. So at this point, my Seismitoad is primed to just easily finish the game. My opponent sends out Delmize, which is tough because obviously it's going to resist my powerful water moves. But since I have a plus one special attack, as you can see there, it has the, the pink arrow pointing upward next to special attack, which means I have one stage of special attack boost. Um, I think Delmize will probably go down to another max ooze. And that's what I'm going to go for. Actually, you know what? This Delmize is really bulky. And this is scary because I'm actually almost going to get knocked out because obviously grass is four times super effective against me. Um, that did almost half. I, I imagine this is going to knock it out because once again, Max Ooze boosted my special attack. Um, so now I have even higher special attack than when I first attacked the Delmize. And now I've knocked out the Delmize. So again, um, just kind of being somewhat strategic with how you're using your Pokemon. Because your two most powerful Pokemon have Swift Swim, you kind of want to always make sure to have the rain active. And again, Pelipper can set the rain. And your Dynamax Pokemon using uh, Max Geyser can also set the rain. If your Pelipper stays alive, um, you can switch it back in later on in the battle to get rain up again, obviously. So just keeping that in mind. If you have rain active, your team is really, really powerful. And even if you don't have rain active, like I said, Barrascuta is really, really fast naturally. And it has the Life Orb and it has a high attack stat. So even if you run out of rain... Um, and there's no way to set it up again, Barrascuta can likely finish finish the job against most opposing Pokemon. 
And here's our next battle. I'm going to try to show off Barrascuta in this battle. So I'm going to I'm gonna play the game and, and make sure to win however I can. But um, if there's an opportunity for me to utilize Barrascuta, I will just so I can show it off. So my opponent starts with a Mr. Rhyme. Um, this is where I wish I, I had U-turn on my Pelipper because that would allow me to... Because I set up Rain already, that would allow me to U-turn, deal some super effective damage, but also go into one of my sweepers. But as it stands, uh, Mr. Rhyme is Psychic and Ice, which means it takes neutral damage from Scald. So I think Scald will deal a lot of damage here. And it does a decent amount, it does over half. And they actually has has they actually have Freeze Dry, which um, is really powerful. That's going to take me down to my Focus Sash. But that's fine, because I'm going to go for Scald again. I might not kill. Okay, I do kill. That's fine. Um, so what we're going to do in the next Pokemon that's sent out is we're probably going to die. Ooh. If it has snow warning, that's going to be tough. Okay, it doesn't. Good. Uh, we're going to go for a Scald again. They might be faster, and they are, so they're going to take me out. Um, but this allows me to show off Barrascuta, so let's see if we can kind of get this going. Um, so we showed off Seismitoad in the last video. I am going to Dynamax here. It might be a little early in the battle to Dynamax, but at the same time, not really. So we're going to Dynamax. Let's look at the options that Barrascuta has for Dynamaxing. It has Max Geyser just like Seismitoad which means that this is a really powerful water move. If you're already in the rain, this is going to deal a lot of damage. And if you're not in the rain, this is going to set up the rain for you. So with with Barrascuta, it's already fast. So even if the rain ends, you can send in Barrascuta. It'll already be fast. And you can go for Max Geyser, deal a lot of damage to the opponent, and set up rain once again for your sweepers. So that's a really useful play. Or you can just use Max Geyser in the rain just to deal a lot of damage, obviously. Max Knuckle is another powerful move. Um, this one boosts Barrascuta's attack set, um, which is useful, of course, because Barrascuta is a physical attacker. So if you have an opportunity to go for this, I advise you to, like if you're going to knock out the Pokemon anyway, just to get that boost. And then finally, we also have Max Ooze, which is this, this time around it's physical, um, but it does raise your special attack, which you don't really care about. And then there's Max Guard, which is basically like Protect. Um, when it's not Dynamaxed, Liquidation is a very, very powerful water move. One of the most powerful physical water moves. And then Close Combat is one of the most powerful fighting type moves. So that's good coverage right there. And then Poison Jab kind of takes care of maybe most other things that resist uh, water or fighting. So we're actually going to go for Max Knuckle um, and see if it takes out this Vanillux. Um, it's going to be super effective. Vanillux has bad defense. But I'm still a little worried that it, this might not kill it. But we'll find out. If it does kill it, that's going to kind of do the job that I want. Honestly, I think I would have done more damage had I gone for the Max Geyser. Because the rain is already out. But I just kind of want to show this off. Um, just as a little strategy that you can keep in mind with Barrascuta. So we're going to go for Max Knuckle. And that is going to take it out. Nice. Um, and that does boost my attack as you can see there. So now Barrascuta is in the rain. It's really fast. And it has plus one attack. So it's basically going to take out anything else my opponent goes for, and that's going to be this Weavile. So Max Knuckle will be four times super effective, which means it's going to deal a ton of damage to this Weavile, and Weavile is absolutely not going to be able to take it. So um, that's how you sweep with Barrascuta, and I also showed how to sweep with Seismitoad. Um, just try to be smart with how you play. I mean, those are a, a couple general tips for using this team, um, but just try to keep things like that in mind. Um, you want to try to always have rain available, although you don't need it. Try to keep your opponent's speed in mind. So, um, for example, if you're out of rain, think of if whether your Pokemon is faster than your Seismitoad or not. Think of whether your opponent is faster than your Vanillux, I mean, <laughs> your Vanillux, uh, than your Barrascuta or not. Just keep, keep the speed tiers in mind. If you have to save Pelipper early game and switch out to one of your sweepers to take a hit and then kill the opposing Pokemon then that's good because if your Pokemon eventually gets knocked out, you can later on go back to Pelipper who will summon the rain again. So just try to keep things like that in mind. Again, you can try out some of the other rental teams or try out a team of your own, but I found this to be the easiest way to grind BP because of the fact that this team is just given to you pretty much and you can kind of jump right in from the get-go and it's a really powerful strategy in general. Um, these two people over here, they give you... or or. Uh, these are the battle po battle point shops. These are where you can buy the mints, which can change your Pokemon's nature, which is really powerful. And then here's where you can buy a bunch of powerful um, competitive battling items. Um, and you can just grind your battle points and save up for whichever items you want. So I hope this video helped you out. 
Uh, please let me know in the comments what you think of this team. And also, ha have you had success with other teams in the Battle Tower? I'm really interested in knowing, and maybe I'll do another video later on, uh, trying out different methods and trying out my own Pokemon as well. I'm really excited for that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video though. I hope it helped you out. If it did, please leave a like. Also, please subscribe for more Pokemon Sword and Shield content. I look forward to making more videos and hearing from all of you. Have a good day.